Hey guys, thanks for stopping in to check out our video inventory update. Today we're taking a look at our freshwater shipments that came in yesterday. Here we've got some nice uh, medium sized uh, black ghost knives. You can see them hanging on the plant there. These guys are about 4 inches, very cool fish. Uh, do well in a community tank, non aggressive, but they do like to eat uh, live brine shrimp, black worms, blood worms, things like that. Here we got some, um, again, about four inch uh, elephant nose, very cool fish. You can see on these guys the uh, long nose, but it gives them their name. Um, another electric fish, like this black ghost knives, do well also in a community tank, as long as they're with guys that don't bother them. And here we got some smaller guaru cichlids. These are a non-aggressive cichlid, they'll do fine in a community tank. They get about oh, six, eight inches when they're full grown, yeah, about six inches when they're full grown. Very cool fish, one you don't see real often, South American cichlid. Uh, over here we got nice gold discus, uh, good size in these, about uh, three and a half, four inches on the body size, and then also some uh, checkerboard, checkerboard pigeon bloods hanging out there, looking great. Another good uh, community fish, and there's also some really cool L200 placos, golden placos there. I had a couple of those in as well. Nice big uh, angelfish here. These guys are uh, full grown, about uh, four inch bodies roughly. Uh, nice selection there. Female betas looking fabulous. These guys are a good size, uh, about two and a half inches or so on these. Nice uh, mixture of colors in here as well. And another community fish, they'll do fine with others. Um, these guys look really nice. Nice good size neons, good for smaller tanks, 10 gallons and 5 gallons, 10 gallons and up. Uh, very popular community fish as well, and as you can see, they like to school. We've got some brown ghost knives. You know, on the tube there. These guys are a little bit bigger. These probably about uh, five, six inch body size on these guys. Another good community fish. Um, same thing with the black ghosts. They like to eat uh, brine shrimp, black worms, things like that. Nice leopard angels here. Uh, about half dollar body size on these. Uh, another good community fish. Uh, do well in tanks with uh, anybody that's not aggressive, pretty much. Yellow McCaffrey guppies. Real beautiful, good uh, starter fish as well. Uh, neon dwarf rainbows. Great for planted tanks, um, non-aggressive, great community fish, do really well with uh, pretty much anybody else that isn't aggressive. We've got painted glass fish, very popular, especially with the kids. Another good hardy community fish, will do well on newer tanks. Some real nice high fin platys here. These guys came in looking fabulous, you can see some of them showing off there. Uh, about two inches on these guys, two, two and a half inches, another good community fish. Also got in some nice uh, small assorted fantail goldfish here. Uh, these guys are about an inch and a half, so two inches. Nice selection. Here we got some uh, cobalt blue gouramis, dwarf gouramis. Very cool fish. Uh, not aggressive. These guys are about full grown, about two and a half, three inches. Uh, good community fish as well. Do some all good in smaller tanks as well. High fin uh, sword tails here. Nice community fish as well. These guys are about two, two, yeah, two inches or so. Uh, great in community tank, smaller tanks are fine. Um, the males are the ones with the big long fins. Everybody likes those. They do great in trios. Um, and those are live bears, so they will have live babies. Honey grommies, uh, pretty cool fish. These guys are about uh, two inches. Nice size on these. And uh, another great community fish. Gold grommies, about three inches, two to three inches on these guys. Uh, another good community fish. Great starter fish as well. Real nice blue rams came in. These are uh, two and a half inches or so. Uh, like a little bit warmer water, they do great with like discus, neons, cardinals, stuff like that. Very cool neon blue platys, a variety we haven't gotten in before. Um, cool fish, uh, good hardy community fish, great as a starter as well. Gold uh, giant daniels, another good community fish. These guys are about two inches now. Uh, they will get bigger about three to four inches when they're full grown. Great starter fish, do really well, very hardy, good starter fish. Uh, platinum tiger barbs, very cool, excellent starter fish, very hardy, um, and do well in groups in a community tank. A uh, little bit careful with what you put them with, they can nip slightly at uh, longer fin stuff like angels or something. Pink barbs, another uh, cool variety there. Here we got yellow fin barbs, these guys are uh, pretty neat, these are about two and a half to three inches now. They get massive, they get like a foot and a half, very cool fish, excellent for a bigger tank. Roseline barbs, another shipment of roseline barbs came in, very popular. These guys got about five, six inches, beautiful colors when they're full adults. You can see the red starting to come out on them. Uh, non aggressive, good hardy, a community fish. Here we got some um, black line blushing barbs. These are a new variety we haven't seen before, pretty cool. Uh, kind of a cross between a, a albino and a black barb, kind of interesting pattern on them. Uh, another good community fish, uh, starter fish, very hardy. 
Also got in some nice uh, small clown loaches, about an inch and a half to two inches on these guys. Great bottom feeders, do well in a community tank, and will help control snails. If you got live plants in the tank with snails in it, they'll help eat those guys. Some really nice uh, dragon gobies came in. These guys are about, oh, roughly a foot, 10 inches to 12 inches. Very cool fish, good community fish. Uh, will eat whatever they can fit in their mouth, so you gotta be a little bit careful about that, otherwise very cool. Some red fire grommies here, another nice dwarf grommie variety, very cool. And nice medium sized ball of sharks here, about uh, four inches on these guys. Another good community fish, and they get good size, eight, 10 inches. Good for a little bit larger tanks. Some more nice uh, large angels. Here we got metallic blue guppies. Very popular again, smaller fish, uh, do well in smaller tanks, community tanks as well. Rummy nose tetras. Here we got Cooley loaches uh, hiding out in the rocks there. You can see them. Cooley loaches, they're about uh, two and a half inches or so, three inches maybe. Um, good bottom feeder and uh, always a conversation piece. We got some red flame uh, grommies, another nice dwarf grommie variety. Some painted uh, platies here, another good community fish. Uh, very uh, good starter fish, very hardy, do well in uh, smaller tanks as well. Nice uh, silver lyre tail mollies. Uh, about two, two and a half inches on these guys. Another good community fish. Small iridescent sharks. These guys are about three to four inches now. Uh, these will get big, about 18 inches in a large enough tank. But a community fish, they don't uh, really bother anybody. Um, they're always a staying active, so a nice, uh, a nice seven piece fish. Got some nice uh, small panda cories here. These guys are about an inch long right now. Good bottom feeder. Some painted uh, swords. Another good hardy variety. Ultimate angels we haven't had in a long time. These are wild caught fish. Um, these guys come from South America. Very cool. These are about uh, body size on them is about two and a half to three inches. Variety you don't see real often. And some real nice assorted angels here. Some leopards, some marbles. Good smaller fish, about quarter size bodies on these guys. Also got in some nice cichlids. We got some uh, pilot cichlids. Some rock cribs and a lab species, very nice. These guys are mostly about two, two and a half inches. And then we got some other dwarf cichlids here. Let's see where they go. We got some lampstick feldies in here. There they are. There's one there. Dwarf cichlid. These guys are uh, generally not aggressive. Not not. Not totally docile, but generally can keep them in a community tank. Some nice silver arowanas, about uh, five inches on these guys. These are more aggressive, keep them with uh, larger fish they can't eat, and uh, South American cichlids typically they do okay with gars, things like that. And then some really cool uh, stick fish. This is a new variety of stick fish I haven't seen before. These guys are really small, about an inch long. Very cool though, great for like a nano type setup. Alright guys, if there's anything you like, give us a call, 414-546-2201, we'll put on hold for you. Oh, forgot the green fire tetras, these are cool as well. Kind of like a neon, a little bit different, a little bit unique variety, one you don't see real often. Alright, give us a call if you need anything, hope you like it all, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.